Today, I'm gonna to talk about the type of adapters you should be bringing to trial, no matter what kind of computer you have. Welcome back to another Monday Quick Tip, where we talk about the tips and tricks that make you faster, more efficient, and more valuable as a member of your trial teams. And today what I'll talk about is the different types of video adapters that I might bring when I go to trial, no matter what kind of computer I'm bringing. Now, the laptop that I like to use has HDMI already built into it. It also has a USB-C and DisplayPort as output options, but I still bring other types of adapters just in case because sometimes I run into a situation where an expert witness wants to use their computer and maybe they have proprietary software that they have that I can't put onto my computer very easily, or maybe they want to run it from the witness stand. And so the main two that I always bring with me no matter what is a mini display port to HDMI. That's one that is gonna be used on if you have a Surface Pro or if you have a MacBook Air. So those are the ones that are gonna be used there. If someone has like a really old MacBook Pro, mini display port is something that they also have depending on which generation old of MacBook Pro they have, they probably already have a built-in HDMI part already, so you may not need it necessarily for MacBook Pros, but Surface Pros for sure are still using mini display ports. The other one that I always bring as well is a USB-C to HDMI port. Now this is what you're gonna see on all the new MacBook Pros, the new MacBooks, or I guess the old MacBooks, I think they're not selling MacBooks anymore. Uh, but you're also gonna see it on a lot of new laptops like the one that I'm using for trial, even though it has an HDMI port, it still also has USB-C. The Dell XPS series, they only have USB-C ports as far as, far as video outs go. And so that's gonna be the new most common video output type that there is. So these are the two that I really highly recommend that you bring with you. The other ones that you might wanna consider, depending on how remote you are from your home base, is, and because they're, they're not heavy, I figure you just throw them in your suitcase, is a USB-C to VGA port because depending on where you go, depending on which vendor you're using, you may only have VGA as an option. And similarly or analogously, mini display port to VGA is the other one that you should probably consider bringing as well. There's other ones that are kind of out there and sometimes I'll bring them, sometimes I won't. Uh, these are kind of more in the rare and obscure, and fortunately they're going away. Uh, I haven't seen them very much in the last like two years or so, and that's mini HDMI to HDMI or micro HDMI. The only time I used to see them was for a short while Lenovo Yoga Books. Uh, the ones with like the watch and the hinge display, all those weird Lenovos, all had weird secondary uh, or less commonly used display ports, and so I would have to carry these with me. I think they phased all that out in favor of USB-C, so you don't necessarily need to use these anymore. But cameras use these, but I don't normally travel with these. So those I have, but they don't usually make it in the bag. These are the four that I normally have, USB-C and mini display port, and converting those to both HDMI and VGA are the main things that you're gonna wanna look for. And the reason why, even if your laptop doesn't have these and you get surprised by someone else that suddenly shoves a laptop in your lap and now you have to control it is because as the hot seater there, you're the de facto hot seater uh, database expert, you're the printer person, you are the IT guy. Whether you are any of those things or not, that's the role that you are serving and that's what people are gonna expect you to be able to do, whether that's reasonable or fair or not. Because after all, the attorney is the one that's been conversing and collaborating with the expert witness for weeks, if not months, sometimes years, and they could easily have asked, what kind of laptop do you wanna bring? That's a different discussion for a different day. But at the end of the day, when it comes trial time, if you can't connect that laptop to the projection system, it's gonna look bad for you. So make sure you're bringing everything that you need to avoid having a, I don't have the right adapter type problem. So this is a little bit longer of a Monday quick tip, but hopefully it's useful for you guys. Thanks so much for making it to the end of the video and I will see you guys on the next one.